Welcome back, guys, to another episode of so, Malcolm caught Game a of ship Thrones. Headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart. <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat his shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again. <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. So we got enemy soldiers in our, uh... Well, I say he's dead. And they've dressed up some house peasant here. in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring us some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill look at everybody looking at us. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> Had a run-in with Walder cool. Frey, did you? And he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Forest is Real cursed. shame about your leg, oh, Lord. Give us a toss. Don't let go of your sister now. Scumbags. I hope we can get revenge on these guys. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. I wonder what's weaker, your legs, or this house? I am the lord of this house, and you will move. Go on then, my lord. Damn, we told his ass. Let's go. That could have ended badly. So we it's put the White Chapel men on no like wine. I'm not sure what that means. Their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Roderick. My boy. Come join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good. Good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. It was highly probable. Maester Otengrin doesn't know everything. Who among us does? Who oh, indeed? Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lords, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay stole them. I've told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead, and Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. Because we have no army. Silence. I am your lord. You're here to give counsel, not to quarrel at my table. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. If we don't have one... Then find me one, Sir Ryland. That's no simple command, my lord. 
Most of our men fled after Lord Ethan was killed, and our allies are either dead or too afraid of the Boltons to help us. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! My betrothed is coming to Ira. Yes, my son. A raven arrived this morning. Lady Elena is eager to see you. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes. Hell this yeah, baby! Could be our the perfect plan! Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. Talia you, does have a point. I'm not the man I used to be. You can still make her happy, Roderick. And she can do the same for you. Oh, I didn't mean to show a lack of confidence, Iron. I was just we'll trying to be real about the situation. The we starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Let them go hungry. Yes, my lord. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. I want to starve those assholes down there. I don't know if that was the right decision, but, uh... We're gonna go for it. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started howling. <laughs> Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. All right. So we got a plan together. Hopefully we can it's get married and uh, get if an army out of it. Flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Now we're back with the sister. Out here in Is Royal Land. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. You and the children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Mira. I had to borrow that from father. Mine was stolen, can you imagine? Wonder who could have done that? I wonder <laughs> who it was. That's actually really cool. Using candle wax oh, to seal stuff Are there like that. any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. Uh-oh. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. 
How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah, it's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Forgive my mother. She doesn't see the harm in what she does. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. Oh, she's not gonna help. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. I wonder if we could forge a letter from her since we have her stamp and stuff. We do have her stamp, right? I think. Isn't that what we stole that one time? We stole something small like that. I don't remember exactly what it was. If uh -huh. Lady Marjorie wrote a letter. Finish the letter to Sir Maynard or forge a letter to Elena Glenmore. We are not going to forge. I'm sorry, Roger. We're not going to get in trouble. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited. We totally could have. Mira. We would have Lady valued our family, but. Uh... The letters. Sir Maynard. <sighs> The man's breath smells like a brew house. I, feel like I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. What about? Well... It's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with them? I've got them. 